Then our storm team two forecast. We've tracked a lot of rain this morning uh, through Preble County, anywhere from two to four inches. Camden dealing with some of the heaviest of that rainfall and also some of the flooding along a stream in that area, creating some people having to evacuate their homes. We are also seeing anywhere from two to three inches across Montgomery County. A look at live Doppler 2 HD. You can see we're finally starting to see the rain move out of the Miami Valley. Just a few storms still on the edge of Clinton County and watch this on our choice Stouter Center camera. Very wet start to the day, but look blue sky. We're starting to see a bit of clearing coming up now after a very wet start and a very dangerous start for some. There is still some high water on the roadways in spots. This is our Goal Auto Auction camera at 64 degrees and a southwest wind right now in Dayton around 16 miles per hour. So temperatures are still going to warm through about lunchtime. Then we are quickly going to see a sharp drop in temperatures heading into the afternoon. A cold front will come through and we're turning rather cold. Even though the rain is now moving out of the Miami Valley, we are going to be dealing with some higher river levels uh, through Dayton. The Great Miami won't be anywhere near flood stage, but it is going to be high. You can see it uh, peaking expected to crest around 33 feet through Miamisburg. There may be some minor flooding with it rising above flood stage, which is 16 feet expected to crest around 17.4 feet, as well as at Franklin. It's expected to crest around 15 feet, about a foot, a foot above flood stage. Here's a look at future track where we are seeing a, a cold front move through around 11 a.m. and that could bring another round of some scattered uh, showers and even thunderstorms to the Miami Valley. That will be through by 2 p.m. and we will start to clear out officially by then and we'll dry out and we won't have to worry about rain for a few days, but our temperatures will be turning much colder. Basically, we are getting we've been seeing some strong southwest winds gusting up to 25 Five miles per hour still possible through the morning, but watch what happens. We are going to see our winds shift out of the northwest. That's that cold front moving through, and when that happens, that's bringing in the colder air, and our temperatures will drop very quickly with the windy conditions along that cold front. The good news is our winds do calm down. Looking ahead to Saturday, wind chills will be brutal, though. Saturday morning, 26 degrees will be our low. Highs over the weekend will be in the 40s, uh, but it's definitely going to feel much, much colder since we are just so mild outside right now with temperatures in the 60s. We'll be in the 50s as we start off next week. Rain chances do return. It is going to be a pretty unsettled week ahead of us. So we're not done with the rain just yet today, but it's, it's, it's clearing up out there for a bit. Your Storm Team 2 weather app is handy. We had severe thunderstorm warnings this morning. If you had it, those warnings went off and let you know what was going on.